Hello everybody, my name is Megan and today we're going to be going over living hinges. Um, living hinges are a great way to solve the problem of wood bending. And wood bending is, well it can be a long and difficult process. You might not always get the exact results that you want. So uh, living hinges are a way, using a laser cutter, to cut the wood and create a pattern that allows the wood to flex. Um, I've done this before in a couple different iterations. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of trial and error, but uh, I'll show you a couple different patterns that you can use today and I'll link you to a few um, different resources that I use and uh, I'll give you a couple different um, uh, layouts that in Illustrator that you can also use for your projects. So let's get started. All right, we're just gonna start here by opening up some of the templates that I have. Um, all these templates I will put in a link below to a Google Drive so that everybody can uh, go and look and try these out for yourself. Um, some of these I haven't used before. I haven't used this beehive and I haven't used the cross pattern that we'll, we'll be showing. But the third pattern that we used, the straight pattern, has been a tried and true pattern for me. I've used it in many different projects and it doesn't ever really seem to fail. So I'm just going to go and open up all of these in different tabs in Illustrator and then copy them all over into a single workspace. And remember that workspace should be about the size of your material so you don't oversize or undersize your projects. Um, either that or the size of the laser cutting bed which for the universal that I use is 24 by 18. So just copy and pasting them all the way over Unfortunately, these do not have the colors already added into them, so you will have to go in and set RGB red and RGB blue here. Um, we're not going to be raster engraving anything. Um, you could raster engrave the little uh, straight designator if you want, but I'm just going to vector engrave them because it goes much quicker and it will cost me less in the long run. So. Vector cut all of the actual pattern, and then again, I raster engraved the little title. And then I just set them onto my work bed as I copied them in and changed the colors. You can modify these, by the way. Uh, it just takes a little, kind of, a little bit of meticulousness. Uh, you do have to go in and piece by piece add and remove different things or make sure they're lined up correctly. Um, I'll show that a little bit later in the uh, video here. Oh, and another really quick reminder, remember when you're setting all of your colors and everything else to make sure that you're changing your stroke weights to .001 so that the laser cutter can read them correctly. I do that while I'm adding colors normally. I normally add the colors and immediately go change the stroke weight. Or at the end I'll highlight everything and change the stroke weight all at once. Because typically, when you have anything in that you're laser cutting, all of the strokes needed should be 0 0.001. I'll give a little bit of an, an example of how you can actually modify these to make them longer or wider here. Um, just using the beehive one because it seems to be a, more, a little bit more complex. You do have to zoom in and or you don't have to zoom in but you can go in and meticulously just delete all of those little lines that separate and as long as you get them really close or close enough that should be good enough for you to actually cut and make a decent uh, living hinge 
Again, a reminder, I, uh, I have never used this uh, beehive pattern before, so it's, it'll be an interesting experiment. Now that I've shown you how you can pretty easily go in and change that around, I think we're just about ready to go to laser cutter. Alright, so we just got back from doing all of our laser cutting for our living hinges, and I will say there were some good and there were some bad. Um, again, I have o I've only used one of these before in any of my projects, so I'm not the most, I'm not the best person to talk to about living hinges. I just like trying to use them and trying to use this, uh, this new way of making wood bin. Now the thing that did come out great is the straight, the straight hinge. You can see how bendy it is just from here. I've used this in a project before and it always comes out wonderful. I mean, you have some great flexibility here. and. It just it works really well for a lot of different things. You can make book bindings with it if you can if you can squeeze them down a little bit closer to each other. Um, I use this to house uh, a rounded object. Um, yeah, and so this one, great, good all around living hinge. If you don't need it to flex in both in two different ways. Um, again, uh, issues. I had my laser cutter a little bit too hot. So that might be the downfall of the other two. Now, the other one that came out okay, uh, this crop the cross. It came out all right. You do get a little bit of flex in it, and it's a more of a diagonal flex and not a straight flex. It gives a little bit of a straight flex, but it's mostly a diagonal. Um, though it does have a couple breaks in it, and again, that might just be due to the heat that was applied. I used a preset and I didn't test beforehand. Don't do that. It's hypocritical of me, but don't do that. Always test your cuts beforehand just to make sure this doesn't happen. Lastly, we tried the beehive and the beehive didn't come out great at all. There's no flex in this. It's actually broken because of how burnt and charred it got. Um, but just because I couldn't get it to work doesn't mean you can't get it to work. So that is what I have for you today. Um, down in the description, I've put a link to that file with all of the different living hinge uh, templates that I have. Um, I did not make them. Uh, I got them through classes and kind of compiled them together. Uh, so please feel free to use them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, keep trying it for living hinges. I know I will. Uh, just make, create, and innovate.